Okay, here goes uh, video number two on um, the, my journey to healing. I am attempting to use the Gerson therapy uh, developed by Max Gerson. You can um, research it yourself. I don't yet know how to put links on to my videos. Um, uh, and I have a lump in my left breast, which may just be, um, you know, just a cyst. Uh, I have not had my mammogram yet. Um, I've only had blood work, and I also have an unusual patch of skin between my two breasts. I also have uh, my right knee bothers me. It's difficult to walk and run, and I've lost my energy. I've put on weight, and my blood pressure is high enough that I am now on medication. So I've started this therapy that I've studied for years, and now I need to put it into practice. It takes a lot of dedication to put it into practice. With my last video, I said that I was going to read the 52 health problems successfully treated by the Gerson therapy. I think there is, uh, and there are many um, people who have who have personal reports that can be added to this, but. Studies haven't been done on what they've been healed from, such as epilepsy and melanoma of the eye and other things. So here's the list, 52. Acne, addiction, AIDS, allergies, anemias, ankylosing spondylitis, arthritis, asthma, cancers and leukemias, candidiasis, I'm not sure I'm saying these correctly, chemical sensitivities, chronic fatigue syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, Cushing syndrome, depression or panic attacks, diabetes, emphysema, endometriosis, epilepsy, fibroids, fibromyalgia, genital herpes, gout, heart and artery diseases, hemorrhoids, hepatitis, high blood pressure, hyperactivity, hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia, immune deficiency, infertility, intestinal parasites, kidney disease, liver cirrhosis, Lyme disease, lupus erythematosus, macular degeneration, migraine, mononucleosis, multiple sclerosis, obesity, ocular histoplasmosis, osteomyelitis, osteoporosis, phlebitis, premenstrual syndrome, psoriasis, shingles, stroke, tuberculosis, and ulcerative colitis. So that is the list of ailments that have there have been studies done that where this therapy uh, does help. It heals, actually. It doesn't just help, it heals. So, um, I'm going to say add a little more information. I'm about ready to turn 62 this October, um, right? I think I was born in 57, yes. And uh, um, so that's my age. I'm not interested in living forever. What I want is to have a high quality of life where I can stay vibrant and active. That's my what my interest is. And um, the uh, diet includes, or the way of life includes, taking out all fats of your diet except for flaxseed oil. I think you're allowed two tablespoons a day because all other fats encourage growth of tumors. Um, uh, no dairy, no meat. Um, so I really like my eggs and cheese. So that's going to be difficult. So I've sort of started. Um, I, it's not perfect. I, I really wanted to let you know that this is real life. And so what I did was I had some things on hand. Everything is supposed to be organic, all fruits and veggies. I didn't have all organic on hand, but I had fruits and veggies on hand. So I'm going to start with uh, what I have. And as I progress, then I will, as I buy new products, I'll make sure they are organic. Also, it's very, he felt that it was very important to take distilled water and then filter it through charcoal. So I don't have any fancy filter or anything. So I'm buying distilled water in plastic jugs for 80 cents at Walmart where I live. And then I have a Brita pitcher with the charcoal filter and I pour the, um, the distilled water through the Brita pitcher, which is also plastic and you know, plastic is not the best for you, but I'm doing this as much as I can.
and um, following it as much as I can. So that's where I began. I have distilled water that I'm filtering. You are supposed to drink eight uh, a glass, eight ounce glass of juice every hour that you're awake. They do not encourage drinking water, but I do add water because I don't have a juicer that works well. So I have a bullet, a ninja bullet. So I grind up my fruits like an orange and a carrot or an orange and a peach or whatever I have, apple and greens, but I add a little water of the distilled filtered water to make it thinner so that it's more like a juice. Now this morning, you are supposed to have oatmeal every morning for breakfast. That is your breakfast. There is no deviation from that. You can uh, put in a fruit. I, I chopped up an apple and put that in this morning. And you are limited to what spices you can use because when your health is compromised, when your body is working really hard to try to heal, if you use certain spices, I'll read out of his book. This is what I understand, how I understand it. They are harsh and they challenge your body away from the healing process. So you, we're not, I'm not allowed to have cinnamon, uh, hot pepper, um, I believe oregano is one of my favorites. But I can have marjoram, so I'll switch to marjoram. Um, you can have dill. You can have unlimited onions and garlic, which I really enjoy them for flavor. No salt, not even a, not even one grain of salt in anything because salt feeds cancers and tumors. Um, uh, no pepper, no black pepper. Um, uh, yeah, no cinnamon. So what I put in my oatmeal was, I put in a dash, a little bit of nutmeg, but I need to even research that to make sure that was okay to put in. I knew cinnamon was not okay. So, um, and then I took my leftover, I hadn't finished my first cup of juice yet, which was orange and peach, and I actually poured that into the oatmeal as well and stirred it instead of the milk. Okay, so I really enjoy my decaffeinated coffee in the morning with creamer, which I use a creamer that is not chem that has no chemicals. It's just it's dairy based and sugar and flavor. And um, so I had a cup of that coffee this morning. In my mind, I'm thinking I'll run the creamer down, which is I think it's half gone, more than half gone. So I'm going to run the creamer down because nobody else in the house uses it. And then mentally, I will be building up to no more coffee, no more creamer. Because when you're not supposed to have coffee, not even decaf. And teas are very limited. Uh, organic, I found an organic, I think it's like a, for bedtime, and I believe it has valerian and peppermint or spearmint in it. And I don't know what else. But I had my first cup last night, and it was very good. But I'll tell you, I started it today. I had borscht, which we, I had already made previously. And it is on the list of foods, except the borscht I made had chicken in it. But I'm going to finish it up. You are supposed to have eight ounces of soup with your lunch and eight ounces of soup with your dinner every day. There is a recipe for, uh, the it's called, I believe, Hippocrates soup. And once this borscht is gone, that's what I will make, and that's what I'll have. But for now, I'm eating the borscht. And uh, so I had that today for lunch. And then you're supposed to have salad. And then um, soup and salad. And then more vegetables. Like, if you keep going, if you drink every cup of juice you're supposed to drink, if you eat everything you're supposed to eat, basically you're eating, like, all day. And... If you stay focused on that, that I can have something to eat, you're not deprived. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to miss, uh, you know, a piece of deep fried fish or uh, a good burger or a pizza or, you know, my daughter makes wings every Sunday and um, no wings. And uh, 
so there will be I mean there there will be alternatives I can probably figure some things out I've made cauliflower crust for pizza before but I can't put any cheese on it now there is a, a recipe in the book that says I believe you can strain non-fat organic yogurt and it can't have any fat but if you strain it then it solidifies down to a ball of cheese so I may try that and I can do the cauliflower crust with a little bit of uh, flaxseed oil and you know I can have tomatoes galore so you know there's you have to work at it and be creative but like I said in my first video do I want to be overcome with more and more uh, not calamity but restrictions on my health and movement or do I want to make an effort to you know uh, become more vibrant more active more lively so that's my goal and I'm heading in that direction I have organic carrots and organic apples non-organic cabbage right now but I'm gonna finish it up and I have some vegetables in the garden that I'm growing uh, the green beans and tomatoes and I'll see how the potatoes did pretty soon and so a squash summer squash zucchini you can eat all of those you know what's interesting though is you are not allowed to have berries which I can't remember what the issue was with berries but um, it all has to do with making your digestion completely simple and smooth and um, so there may be the seeds and the berries I don't know but I'm going to be studying the book and sharing with you uh, not just my journey but information from the book as we go such as today I shared the 52 diseases or yeah that can be definitely be healed so um, anyways I think that's enough for my second one I went way over five minutes I hope you follow my journey and uh, I just begun I wouldn't even say I've really begun because I'm still finishing up you know the cream and eating borscht with chicken and um, and I don't have scales yet so I can't I don't know if I'm brave enough to say what I weighed at the doctor maybe down the road as I lose weight I will let you know the progress from where I came from to where I want to go so that is oh do you like my eyebrows I just learned I keep asking questions wherever I go and uh, oh I can't dye my hair anymore so it's gonna have to grow out which is all right because I wanted to change to like a platinum blonde so that it would cover my gray better but um, no more dyeing of the hair for now and um, I'll have to get really cute cuts and haircuts and get something to wear on my head but um uh, and I'm not going to be wearing makeup very much I don't anyways but I was where was I at the hospital getting blood work done I think and I asked this girl how do you do your eyebrows and she said that she was at a wedding and the makeup artist said to use eyeshadow so I think I I just did it really quick today but that's the best they have ever looked doing them myself I want to get them even I want to fine tune it one but that's the first time I've ever done it so it's kind of cool I like it because you know as you get older your eyebrows start getting a little more sparse they're not so full and so you have to fill it in to make it look more attractive and that's what she did she just used eyebrows so I had a little pot of cream with a little brush and I just brushed it on there and I really liked doing it so anyway that's a sidebar but that's what life is all about a little bit of this and a little bit of that so I hope you follow me I'm having fun so far um, catch me later bye